It's a uh, Wednesday night. Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to More Sports and Les Levine, brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. This is not a replay from yesterday. I'm wearing an, uh, a uh, red shirt tonight as opposed to last night's black shirt. But Chuck Booms is back with us for a couple of reasons. How do they know you didn't change your shirt in the middle of the... Uh, well, I might have. I might have. You're here for a couple of reasons. Number one, this uh, gives our friend Hal Lebovitz a chance to eat dinner two nights in a row without having to watch this show. Right? Is Hal aware of the compliments I've tossed out? Yeah, he, I'm sure, I don't know that he is. I'll let him know tomorrow because I'm sure he's not watching today or, or mm. last night. Also, we're here to, um, well, we just stayed here all night after our discussion. We did. And we're not going to even discuss Tim Couch and Kelly Holcomb because Couch fans are Couch fans. Holcomb fans, we, you don't think for one minute that we that would change That we would do the whole mind. hour tonight? No, I think we could do the whole millennium on this, but on I don't think we'll change anybody's mind. Okay. But more importantly, we're here to sell your house. Yeah. No, why show that? We have the no, actual have? house. Yeah. I don't know if we can get it up here, but uh, Chuck's little... You don't know uh, if you can get his, it up here. Speak for yourself. Chuck's little uh, thing here, The uh, you're selling that thing, huh? Yeah. That's your uh, your crib. Beauty. In now Euclid. The, now, the problem is, is where's the uh, camera people here? See, here's the... Uh, Here's the sheet that shows the... Well, uh, we don't care about this. This, well, is, this yeah. is all you need That's to know. That's the outside. You're not seeing the beautifully remodeled kitchen, built-in cabinets, the listing all, is going up. all new uh, appliances. How about the incredible master suite? With what's, a, what's a real estate glass agent Glass block, doing? shower, all redesigned. What's a real estate agent make? What percentage? In other words, how much am I going to get if you sell this off? How much do you get? Yeah. I don't know. Wouldn't you think somebody would want to buy my house just so they could say I live in... Booms' his house. Well, it's a I great house. Would, I think it would be a detriment. It's in Euclid. Uh, if you want to see my house, by the way, uh, 731 9500 is the number. 731 9500? Yep, call and set up an appointment. So look why, at that, why are you moving? Look at that deck I put on the back. Is that cool? Why are you moving? I bought a condo. Oh, what, Florida? No, no that's a state. I bought a condo. Oh, I'm sorry. At the, uh, at the top of a building, I got a penthouse, which is nice. Looks really? out on the lake in downtown. Or my calves have. Like, like my Keep cab. talking. Keep the camera on him. I dropped oh. something. Let me tell you about the bathrooms. Okay. Uh, there's two new No, we, we don't need to hear about that. Started out with, uh, huh? We don't need to. Now you have it the, had one uh, bathroom. It has three full now. You have the hat to go with our shirt behind you, the Cavalier shirt. No, don't, don't do that. It'll fall. How's it going to fall if I'm holding it? Well, you can't see it. Look. Well, move the camera up. What is that person now doing just a leave camera them too? No, we'll get just you there. You, look now, look how good they did it. You're just upset because yesterday it was Megan back there and you hit on her all night. And where Go is ahead, Meg? Hit on I, this guy with the goatee. Jesus, this guy looks like King Tut behind the camera. <laughs> too uncommon. When uh, he gets a chance, tell him to center the uniforms. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three is the number. I'm the center of your universe. All calls tonight, Kelly Holcomb and uh, Tim Cobb. Oh, that'll be great. Full hour. That'll be great. Explain See if you can convince us. How does Major League Baseball... We don't have that in Cleveland. Well, I'm talking Major League... I'm not talking about... We have I'm the Akron talking, Arrow. I'm not talking about Major League Baseball in Cleveland. I'm talking about Major League Baseball in general. How do they get away with sponsorship by casinos... And how do they get away with Viagra commercials? And I'm very serious about this, where, where as the players are batting and they show from behind home plate, center field camera, and you got the Vi Viagra billboards. I, I'm very serious. How do they get away with that? Viagra from behind, huh? Um, I'm serious. It's a product. You're talking, about a family, you're talking about a family game, the family atmosphere, and, how, and, and you're also talking well, about so Pete Rose and I don't Rose think 11 year old boys know what Viagra are, do you? No. But, but I'm sure some, you know, some kid who walks out of uh, Texas Stadium, the ballpark at Arlington, with a, a commemorative uh, coin, a plaque from, uh, uh, from uh, Rafi Palmero's 500th homer, and it's got Viagra right there. Mm. Well, that's not good. Well, it isn't. And then, you know, we talk about P. Rose, and you got every casino in the world uh, uh, being promoted. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you didn't have Viagra, you know, you'd have just a picture of two popsicle sticks and two. a rubber band behind the, on the thing, so... I'm trying to, I, I'm, I don't want to <laughs> take too much time thinking about that because I, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, I, see, I, don't wanna, I, should, I can't even, I don't even understand. didn't work. I know, I know. Right. I don't even understand why I brought that up with you here on the show. I it'd, really be a, it'd be a blank splint. 216-575-0403 is the number. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who called yesterday. Hold on, I'm biting my nail. Go ahead. I have a friend who called yesterday. Why do I, Patrick, what did I ask you before? I said, when this is over... 
You're two nights in a row, ask me why I've subjected myself to Do this. Do you know yet? No, I have no idea. A uh, friend of mine says he can pinpoint the, the time. Mm -hmm. You know how Sports Illustrated does the, the signs that the apocalypse is upon us oh. in sports? Right. He can pinpoint the time that we got into the me, 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 and all that other stuff and not caring about winning or the team or anything else. And he says it's the time they started putting names of players on the backs of uniforms. And he says you don't have a problem with Indiana teams when Bob Knight coached them. You didn't have problems with that with the New York Yankees who don't have uniform names, uh, names on the back of the uniforms. Red Sox and didn't. Red Sox have them on the road. But he may be right. By the time they started putting names on the back of uniforms, that's when it changed. Mm, no. No? No. It, it changed when people like Albert Bell could say 10 million. No, not enough. I need 12. Well, it changed. He didn't start that. So it's been going, it went 15 years before that. It went with Messerschmitt. Well, it a, went with well, Kurt Flood. Messerschmitt. Andy. Messerschmitt was his name. Messerschmitt. He was German. Fine. Fine. He was named after the You were wrong. You know, I Andy edited the show last night. What? You made two mistakes. You said huh? both, uh, I said both Western Conference games were playing. You said no, one was an Eastern Conference game in the NBA. Yeah. And the other thing, the thing about Annika uh, okay. Sorum, let's not even get into it. You're totally wrong. She will tee off in the same place the men are. Good, then she'll shoot a buck and a half. Oh, fine. 216-575-0403. Um, Dave DeBusher. By the way, do you think... Dave De, excuse me, for, can we get serious for a minute? Dave DeBusher uh, died today of heart attack at the age of 62. Taking to his grave the secret of the Ewing lottery. Yeah, he was the general manager of the Knicks at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he also, he pitched for the Chicago White Sox, but he also at the age of 24 was named player coach in basketball of the Detroit Pistons. Could you imagine that, a 24-year-old When he kid? played for the Knicks, was his name on the back of his uniform? Yes. Was he greedy? That team wasn't. Mm. That team was the ultimate team. Mm. Busher, Bradley, DeBusher, Willis. Bradley, Willis Reed, Frazier, and uh, Earl of Pearl. And Earl of Pearl, who might have been that way with some teams, but because he was with those guys, it didn't get that way. Mm. That's, that might be the ultimate team. Let me ask you something. Uh, uh, no, ask me something different. Well, let me ask you something completely different than All what right. I was going to just ask Go ahead. you. Derek Jeter and uh, Jason Giambi, their names are not on the back of their uniforms. Greedy? I, I didn't say greedy. I, I said with the chest Patrick, bumping. No, no, no. Was greedy was not my premise here. You, the premise more, I think, showing off on the showing field. off on the field. All right. I, of, I, of, I, 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 I. Derek Jeter. His name's not on the back, and neither is Giambi. Oh, you're missing the whole point. And I didn't say it's. I think not. Well, first of all, this is an ongoing thing from 25 years when they started with the uniform names. What I'm talking The Yankees you, you have never had their names on it, and yet the Yankees yeah. are, the, are known as the biggest bunch of... Reggie Jackson I didn't say was the I.I. guy okay. of all There's time. One. There's one. The guy at a candy barn didn't talk to anybody There's on the team, including Billy Martin, who was drunk. There's one. We're ta going over the well, last 25 years. Well, then that's the end of your years. guy's theory. No, go over the last 25 years. That's no. one guy out of 25 years. If I say that I, I've got a Bob giant quilt Indiana? and it's going to cover everything, and you look up and there's a huge hole in the quilt, How about it doesn't Indiana cover under everything. Bobby Knight? What's that? Give me an I-I-I guy. I don't mean Tony from uh, yeah. Strongsville. Yeah. Give me a, an, a guy like that, total hot dog, totally un... Give me a Ricky Davis kind of a guy at Indiana under Bob Knight. He wouldn't recruit that kind of guy. Bingo! But he did not recruit him because the names weren't on the back. No, the point it's is because the names, Bobby Knight didn't want to play with people like that. He didn't want to. He he was the team concept, and I think Bobby Knight had that part right. Duke plays team basketball. All their pros that go, except for Boozer, are terrible in the NBA. Their names are on the back. What does terrible in the NBA have to do with it? I'm talking about they're I, not I I I guys at Duke. Chest bumping and worrying up and shooting they're at the wrong basket. Not I I I guys at Duke, and their names are on the back. Well, who's your friend? Tell me he's an idiot. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Patrick, what did I say? Did I say I would not come down here two days in a row? 216 I'd rather be having dinner with Hal. <laughs> is the number. Maybe we you don't, call him. You don't think Hal would let me I'm come I'm trying on? to stall because I know we're going to go to the calls. and It's, it's going to be Kelly Holcomb, Holcomb and, and couch. couch. That's what we want. We promised him we, yesterday a whole hour. We don't and want that. And you said that. to me, you said we're not going to do a whole hour I'm on couch. I'm not going to do a whole hour. Do you right. think that you're going to convince... See if the first call is couch and Holcomb. Uh, we don't go to calls in this segment. We go in the next segment. No. Do you think for one minute that you, you or I are going to change uh, somebody's mind about this uh, Holcomb and couch thing? Mm -hmm. You think we will? Yeah. 
by you yelling at them and berating them and right. calling them idiots right. and stupid, right. you think they'll say, oh, thanks, Chuck, I now see the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have an email address that's msnll at aol.com. Mm -hmm. People can email us about Holcomb and Couch. Maybe they'll convince me. But don't do it for an hour. But don't do it till 7.01. <laughs> no. So we're out of here. On a serious note, um, very sad. Oh, uh, like the Dave DeBusher was it a serious enough well, note? Well, I don't know Dave DeBusher, but a big fan of yours. Yeah. And uh, my dad's best friend passed away today, Wally Stala, who used to watch every time. In fact, the, the saddest part about it is my mom called me today and said that Walt had called my dad and said, you know, Chuck's on with Les again. And every time that I'm on with you, he tapes it. So he has every one of these. Wow. And, um, and he passed away today. Your mom which is called sad. him today and then he died? No, he called last night yeah. to say Chuck's on with Les. Oh. And he always loved Les. He watched you every night anyway. Right, right. But then when I was on, he would tape it. He and my dad have been friends since they were in the, the Navy together in the 20s. I mean, in, the 20s. in their 20s, okay. not in the 1920s. Yeah, which, yeah. So well, our sympathies go God's out to the family. to his family yeah. and stuff. That's sad. All right. Uh, we have an email address, msnll. You and said that already. Well, I have to go back into... You're so, so used to repeating that you can't just jump no, ahead? No, so the people in the back room know where we are oh. this particular time. Why would they want to know where we are this show? They haven't any other show. You can uh, comment on anything any of our Any calls say. in the back yet? Is my house sold? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you have to leave and tend to the business Excellent. Of, of selling it. I have a showing at 620. You can uh, <laughs> respond to our question. So does Dave DeBusher. So, uh, so, uh, <laughs> oh, man, that's it. That's you know, right. I talked to a guy. I talked to a guy today at Hagerstown, Maryland. Hagerstown is that yeah. where they made the washable suits? No, that's mm. that's Hagerstown. Mm. This is Hagerstown. I got you. And uh, it's Class A team owned by Andy Rayburn, who lives here in Cleveland. We've had him on From the, the show. From the Rayburn building? No. Oh. And Andy also owns the team down at uh, the, the Daytona Cubs, where the uh, Korean pitcher hit that osprey and killed him. I, anyway, I didn't find any humor in that. Uh, I who's like laughing? The, I don't like cruelty to animals. Who's laughing? You did. There was a smirk when you said he killed the osprey. You scream, we scream, we all scream for anyway, osprey. I saw they're it. having on August 16th at Hagerstown, Maryland, it's a single A team of the Giants, they're yeah. having funeral night where p somebody will win a funeral, their own funeral. Oh. How do we get Modell to go? We also have a question of the week. Uh, Cavaliers looking for a new head coach. We did this yesterday. Well, it's the week, Chuck. Oh, Read I'm what sorry. it says, not the <laughs> well, question of the day. You, they have others still. We put Del Harris in. Well, you're right. We didn't do that. Silas Van Why? Gundy. Did today's Clemens. article, who wrote the article today in the Plain Dealer that made it sound like, like Van Gundy was a bad choice? That he was kind of the rich boy or whatever. Did you read it, Patrick? I did read it. I don't know. I don't, it, it, was, I, it was kind of already taking shots at Van Gundy, and yeah. I didn't understand I saw, why. I saw Van Gundy on... We're, uh, we all agree that Paul Silas is great, but, but right. so is Van Gundy. I, I saw Van Gundy on, uh, pardon the interruption, and uh, he, he left all doors open. He said all the politically correct things. Yeah. He, he would not, if it's offered to him, Pardon the interruption is it. an excellent show. Yes, it is. Considering I stole the format from our radio show. No, I, I don't think that's correct. I do. I know for a fact that it well, is. Well, why don't you sue him? If you're that sure. Kornheiser and I don't like each other, but I, as much as it pains me to say, uh, and I do like Mike, Mike Wilbon. He and They're Mike, very good. Yeah. As opposed to the show before, which might be the worst on TV, Around the Horn. Might be the worst ever. I can't get, can't even get past the credits. Yeah, can't even get. You have to watch it, though, because you can't believe how stupid it is. No. I, people used to say that about Magic Johnson's talk show. Oh, I take it back. You're right. When it's like that bad, you have to watch <laughs> it. You're shocked terrible. that it's on. Magic was terrible. How about Jimmy Kimmel? Have you seen this uh, thing? I saw it once, and I don't need to ever see it again. Uh, we do have a P.O. Well, box. I feel bad for him, too. I know Jimmy. For That's those just who awful. Are, are P.O.'d, and that is 22715 Cleveland, Ohio, 44122. Well, as you know, I'm the self-proclaimed voice of truth and reason in and Cleveland funerals. sports. It says so right there. Yep. Even though Phil Jackson owns nine championship rings as a coach and one as a player, I've never totally bought into his coaching genius. After all, for all uh, eight of those coaching championships, he arguably had two of the top five players in the league at the time on his team, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen in Chicago, and of course Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant in Los Angeles. But last night he did something that most coaches wouldn't even try, let alone get away with. Down by 25 points at one time near the end of the third quarter, Jackson took out the most dominant player in the game, Shaq, and went with a smaller, quicker lineup. 
and it wasn't to rest Shaq for game six. The move combined with terrible ball handling by San Antonio bad got the coaching. Lakers back into the game and bad coaching too. They almost won it when Robert Ory's three-pointer popped out when it was halfway down the basket. Now the Spurs have squandered two huge leads during this series, losing one and barely hanging on to win the other. Game six will go back to L.A. and then game seven, if necessary, returns to San Antonio where the Lakers haven't won this year. But I, for one, wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers do, in fact, win the next two. And if so, give Jackson a heck of a lot of credit. I'll tell you what, this No this question. Team, you were wrong San about his championships. He's won nine I as a I said that. I no. said that. I don't care what it said on that no, ad that lib was, up there. If you were no, listening. You no, you didn't. You said. Hold on a second. Patrick, did I say nine? Yeah, but then, then the he. At the top, he said nine. Yeah. yeah, but then he said, but he won eight as a coach. He won yeah. nine as a coach. At the top, he said nine as a coach. And then you one screwed it up, player. and then you said, yeah. Oh, nine as a coach and one as a player. Right, that's ten. Ten. Yeah, fine. I'll yeah. accept your apology in yeah, writing. Yeah my, my, yeah, my apology. You were right, though. Phil Jackson, great coaching. Not only went smaller and quicker, went with Medevenko, the European guy, to right. give size, but quickness on size. It, it was interesting because Charles Barkley and him analyzed the game at half and said, the one thing that does beat the Lakers is the up-tempo game because O'Neal... The guy, I mean, he, he re I mean, I don't know if he's hanging out with uh, Gerard Warren, but, I mean, it, he looks like he swallowed an armoire, and he cannot get up and down the court anymore. And he literally, yeah, he did not give up. That was a strategic move, and Popovich became deer in headlights. Right. And uh, uh, um, as I said today to a couple of people, Greg Popovich, it was a groundbreaking sports last night, the first time we ever saw the prevent in the NBA. They were <laughs> hanging on seconds. for dear life. I yeah. mean, literally and going, God, I hope we don't they, lose. They all, you talk about moral victories. That, was a, that victory was a moral loss to them. They, yeah, they have acted like they lost the game. They didn't act like they were up 3-2. to two. They're on the defense. The crowd and they didn't have the cheer yeah. at the end yeah. for the victory. Right. The players all hung their head, and the press right. conferences they were depressed. Right. This is a team that's up three-two and headed for defeat. Yeah. I, that's what I'm. That's my point. Yeah. My point is, I think LA still. I has agree the, with you. And, I, and, I, and I, I, I really hope the Spurs win, but yeah. I agree with you. All right. Two no one, Kevin Willis last night was two one six five seven five zero four zero three. Yours truly restaurants, seven great locations, and three new awards from the Silver Spoon Awards from Cleveland Magazine. First place is the best burger. First place is the best cheap eats. Second place, best family dining. And according to Chuck and others, the nacho fries, the best food in the entire world. Period. What are they? They're cottage fries with cheese. And Karen and I used to get a big stuff. plate of fries yeah. and then cheese. And then she used to like the extra bacon on that, the bacon. All right. We'll Very come, good. Come back in a moment. 216-575-0403. More sports and less Levine brought to you That's by up. McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. I have socks on. Today, the, uh, the 14th of May, Ed Walsh, Hall of Famer, Gump Worsley, goalie, Hockey goalie, Hall of Famer. Goalie, goalie. Dick Hauser uh, played a little shortstop with the Indians, became a, a little manager with the Kansas City Royals and the Yankees. Tony Perez, geriatric, an old guy, and Pooh Richardson all celebrating birthdays on the 14th. Tony Perez of May. falling victim to the um, um, early on with the Royals, uh, not formula managing, now uh, six man rotation. With the rumor hold on, is hold on upstairs, upstairs, stop, upstairs. stop, stop, stop. Tony Pena is the guy you're thinking yeah. of. Yeah, so I said Tony Pena. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. We said Tony Perez. <laughs> that's not Tony Pena up there? No. Tony no. Perez from the Big Red Machine. Yes, as opposed to Tony Pena. Right. Well, Tony Pena of the Royals, the Royals falling right. victim to the front yes, office is. people. You want to know something? Not that we're saying that goes on here in Cleveland. Kansas <coughs> City will Mark. not finish 500. Kansas City won't finish 500. Can you answer a question for me? Oh, depends on this. If it's nuclear fission, no, I can't. All right, let me ask you something completely different right. then. If, in fact, young arms, like the Indians and the Royals, the thing is they can't let them go too far into the game. They want to protect their arms. Right. Then they get older and they go, they can't throw as many innings. That's why you need a bullpen. Right. When do they ever throw long innings? Okay, there's one day when they're there 29. Is? Okay. That they could throw 180 pitches. Is that on this schedule magnet that oh, day that when they Oh, that reminds me. Thank you very oh. much. Courtesy of Promotional Solutions, you can uh, get one of these. I put mine on the fridge. Did you? On the house Both that you're dogs, trying to sell? No, in my condo. Both dogs jumped up, saw your picture, and ran yiping into the other room. 
Yiping. Anyway, uh, you can get one of these magnet schedules, More Sports and Less Levine. Just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. Put at least 60 cents worth of stamps on it and make it at least business. I got it's somebody nice. with one of these no. envelopes this no, big. No, it's nice. Can't hey, you know what's nice about these, Patrick? You have a grease pen. You know what the grease pen is? Really nice. You could put the L's in each little box as you go along. L, <laughs> L for Les L, Levine or L, for losses? Losses. Oh. Want to know the series that's coming up, boys? It matters. Yeah. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. As they close in. And they're already billing it. Battle of the Basement. Who is? <laughs> <laughs> Lenhurst Luggage. And uh, shoe repair. And shoe repair. Formerly Eastgate Luggage. And shoe repair. There you go. But they've moved down the dial. They've moved down toward Richmond on uh, Mayfield Road. And also... Uh, uh, they're I, at I a got, real crossroads. Yes, they are. I, uh, I got uh, a great value, a great buy on Samsonite luggage that, yes, I paid for, unlike the moron who called last night to claim that I did. Do you know that I'm actually going to go up to uh, Lynnhurst Luggage? Ask who for Sandy. I, Sandy. i got to yeah. go see Sandy because I have... You, you ever have a piece of luggage that, that, that really becomes... Other ones you can throw out and don't mean anything. I have one that's a Skyway that folds with yeah. your suit. Right. It's got wheels well, and everything. Have suits. Both zippers broke off. No, I wear sport coats, so All sometimes right. well, I'm Sandy state. can take care of that. So I'm going to have her fix it. He can take care of that. Or they him. also have the rivalry editions of the uh, checker his. games. You got the, uh, here's the Ohio State one. You got Ohio State and, and Michigan. You got the Indians and Yankees. There's a great rivalry. The Ohio State Purdue one is great. Goes down to the last move, you're sure to lose, <laughs> and then you just you get all nine pieces right. at once. <laughs> last play of the yeah, game. Yeah, last play yeah. of your check. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah, and also uh, the Stillers, the Pittsburgh Stillers. Oh, and, I thought the Cleveland Browns. I thought you meant Ben and his father. No, no, didn't. The didn't Stillers. Two one six five seven five zero four zero three. Let's Chuck take that Holmes first couch and Holcomb call, shall we? No, I'm not. I'm telling <laughs> you. Well. It's all lined up with Couch no, and Holcomb, and I just don't. I You're just, not going to do it? No. All right, let's take a call in. No, not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> They're in there. I can They're see all there. the lines, Liz. I know they are, and mm -hmm. I refuse to do because I know what's there waiting for me. I think we'll, you and I will just chat until we get other calls. No, Speaking of the acronyms that you, you have on your hat, why don't they just bring up Jeremy Guthrie right now? Um, well, again, Shapiro with some legitimate thinking here, wanting to get the innings for Jason Bure. <laughs> It's a guy that went one in ten last year. Uh, what are you laughing at? It's a big pickup for Mark. Why did they not see that? How they much didn't does Tom Hamilton anymore? hate Matt Lawton? He ain't lot. even hiding it anymore. You know, I, I talked to Tom yesterday. <laughs> Man, about I that. love Tom. I Hamilton. talked to Tom. As if I didn't love the guy enough. He was he was ripping on uh, and the Indians because Lawton got a bloop hit and then gets picked off and just kind of jogs into second and then he comes back to the bench and everybody's high fiving. What are they high fiving? And this guy Hamilton's for saying, goes. "Hey, he got a bloop hit. And he and got picked off and he and he and, and they're excited about it. And, he wait, said. and he didn't <laughs> hustle. And right. What are they high fiving him for? And he goes and he goes to Underwood. He goes and the last time I checked, he's batting two bucks. Right. So I said to Tom, I said, "Boy, good call." there on that he says you know I, we were out in the west coast it was late i didn't think anybody would hear it. oh yeah we all heard it, Tom. We <laughs> all heard it. All right, let's take a break we'll come back in a moment uh, port royal cigars uh, lines open different lines open 216 all the kelly all come tim couch lines are open five seven five oh four oh three is the number to call port royal cigars uh, in solon that's right next to mcdonald's on route 43 at 91 10 percent box discounts at all times over 500 boxes on display they Great got my people. favorites they got What's punch that? punch is a cigar Unbelievable cigar, yeah. Really? Ask them at Port Royal. They got it. I'm sure if, if it's a cigar, they've got it yeah. at Port Royal Cigars. We'll come back in a moment. You're watching more sports and less Levine brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast My house Ohio. sold yet? That's what all the lines are. ANC Auto Parts, uh, Chuck is talking to Michael at uh, ANC today, and he's a big basketball fan, and his son's watching the, the Lakers game, and they're making a comeback, and he's yelling down to his dad, hey, turn on the Laker game. He says, no, I'm in He was watching the replay of our show at the same time. Uh, he couldn't, it was like a train wreck. He said he couldn't take yeah, his eyes off. Lesson booms are on. It could yeah. get dumber by the minute. Anyway, at Good uh, choice for him, by the way. ANC Auto Parts, uh, ten, now, if you mention more sports than Les Levine, they'll give you 10% uh, off right on, on the spot, in addition to the great low price and other additional we got to convert off. the kid to watch it, man. You Instead of the Lakers game? The Lakers game was on the verge of, had the Ori shot gone down, that was the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Oilers. Yeah, pretty much. Because uh, everybody I know, including you, that did you walk out? No, I, and it was I 25 it people yeah. just walked away. I turned it off. I watched, got all the highlights. You and turned around, else, it's 94, 91, you're going, this can't be no, happening. Didn't watch it. Nine acres of cars, trucks, and vans. Uh, uh, wow, your, nine uh, acres. Yes, sir. 
a lot. And check it out. The lowest prices anywhere. Check out the, the huge ad that they have in the yellow pages. 216-575-0403. Chuck Boone's with us tomorrow night. Hal Levovitz will be back. Monday night, the United Wireless Plain Dealer Roundtable. Uh, Bill Livingston and I believe Tony Grossi and uh, Burke Rafe. I'm not, sh not sure. But Tony Grossi that. who wrote the article about Couch and Holcomb that right. was right down the middle. If you were for Kelly Holcomb. <laughs> right. The yeah. Kelly Holcomb people say it was a very fair. Excellent. Very fair. Very fair. Right very down fair. the middle if you're for Kelly Holcomb. Anyway, a Do you week? think Hal would buy my house? No. Uh, I'm, no, I'm sure that he wouldn't. Uh -huh. no. um, also, uh, a week from Monday is, going to, is uh, Memorial Day, so we won't have a live show that night, so the PD Roundtable will be the Tuesday of, of that week, just to, just to let you know. Did uh, Serena Williams and uh, did, it, did her father, Dick, Say something. You, Richard? Dick. Dick Williams? Yeah. Her father, Dick. <laughs> yeah, he said something about the American flag. What did he say about the American flag? Pretty much meaningless to him. And, he said the American you know, flag's meaningless to him? Right. The fact well, that they make $4 billion a year. Let me say year, something to Dick. Well, I don't think he's watching. No. I'm, he's probably not watching. Hey, Dick. But, but he'll you get You can the leave any time. Okay. See, we need to get that flight, and I want to call it the Alec Baldwin International flight, because he said he'd leave if Bush won. We need to book this flight for him, Janine Garofalo, Sarandon, Robbins, uh, Marty Sheen. Just take all these communists. Dick. They're, they're communists? Yeah. When you stand in this country and say the flag means nothing to you yeah. when people died, Right. So that, that he has the right to be a jackass. Right. They're communists right. and I want them out. You're putting them all in one, one lump. You're putting, you're putting well, you know Richard what? Williams I would say that with that's, Susan Sarandon. No, that's probably not fair to Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon would probably say the flag does mean something to me. And she just, this, right. she's a peace activist nut. But, right. um, but to say the flag means nothing is about as vile as it okay. gets. Well, fine. I, I don't think it's So scared. any of you that go to a tennis match and you see uh, Dick Williams, uh, Serena's dad, just walk over to him and punch him as hard as you can right in his face. Tell him that the flag means something to you and then drop him. You know, you're the same guy who said Bob Ryan was way out of line yesterday, yeah. or uh, on yesterday's show. You right. said Bob Ryan was for out of line for what slap. he said yeah. about, uh, uh, about uh, yeah. Jason Kidd's wife. Who had been beaten before, yeah. Right. So you think it's okay. You would promote just going up to Richard Williams in the stands at mm. Forest Hills, let's say. Preferably even at an airport or something. Yeah, just blast him one. Say that's okay. for the veterans. That's for all of us that like the flag. Which, by the way, at my house I'm selling is flying proudly. What's that phone number? Seven three one ninety five hundred. The the quicker you sell it, the quicker you get out of town. Quick, everybody. <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. I, I refuse to. I'll it's, press the damn button no, if you I'm, don't. I, what do you mean? No, you're you not are. allowed to. It'll ruin the whole the whole setup. What? Will get ruined. The whole setup. If I, it comes from that angle, it'll ruin this whole thing. These are all Couch Holcomb calls, and I don't want to take them. I don't want to take them. I'm not in the mood. It won't serve any purpose. I want to take a call. They are, it will not. I'm leaving if we don't take a call. <laughs> the door is right there, and please don't let me kick can, you I can, on the way I out. can go in the back and manipulate the phone to make <laughs> them come on the air from that angle. Is that right? Yeah. That's not right. You think... You think, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Patrick just told me that none of these are cow Holcomb calls. Uh, pa Patrick, don't you swear they're not? <laughs> See? He can't swear that they're not. Yes, he can. I don't, do you, I got to do this every night. Do you think for the next six months, what now Hal until. do when they do this? Hal, Hal's a couch supporter. Well, of course. He's smart about sports. Right. We have Mary Kay Cabot is a couch supporter. I don't really care what Mary Kay Cabot is. What do you mean you don't care? I, I mean, I don't care what Mary She's Kay She's a beat Cabot. reporter for the Browns. She's, it's ridiculous. She, she has no business being in a locker room she, with nude men. She's the American flag of Browns plain dealer reporters. You have to care what she thinks. No, I don't. I don't. And I'm sure Mary's delightful. What? I just you don't read her columns because it's a no, woman yeah, writing it. Right. You look at the at the byline and right. it says Mary Kay Cabot, and, and I, you and go I, to page two B. I put it at the bottom of my birdcage. As soon as I as soon as I see it's a woman writing about men's sports. Yeah. Yeah. The same reason I don't want like Doug Gilmore writing about the WNBA. It's it's demeaning. Take a couch, Holcomb. I'm not taking it. Why? I'm Why not can't we it. take a call? I, I don't want to. 
What, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's have a break. Let's have one break. What are we going to do? We're going to talk. Call my cell if you want to talk <laughs> give the, about give the phone number Holcomb for your and cell Couch. Phone. Call right now. We'll talk. You and I can talk Couch I, and Holcomb. I, I refuse to get involved in this. Should I we do a show today. from when did the quarterback start? Today. Did they? Yes. The quarterback school began today. 56 people showed up. 56 players showed up. How about if we compromise? What would that if be? If you want to call up and talk about Josh Booty. <laughs> That's fair. I'll take, I'll take booty calls. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say I'll take booty I will. calls. I'll take if somebody wants to tell me that Josh Booty. When was your be last playing, booty call? If somebody wants to call and tell me that Josh Booty deserves to start over both of them, I would entertain that call. I would entertain that call. I don't feel well. I'm thinking of you having a booty call. Is the goaltender in the National Hockey League playoffs? I'm not taking any hockey calls. Is it? The <laughs> <laughs> is it the most important position of all positions in all sports? No, doggy style is, then goaltending. No, no, no. Uh, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. What? No. Sports. I'm don't, sorry. No, don't. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost ready to go to a couch. <laughs> That's right, because it's going to get worse if you don't. <laughs> it's going to get worse. This will be your last show, <laughs> no. and I can do it. I think we need to take a break, and we, we need to discuss something. I just something. had the sign. We need to discuss something. Why would your you behavior. bring up goaltending? Because I'm changing the subject. You're making my scalp itch. I'm changing. Scalping is not legal. In yeah. this. I'm changing the subject. The goaltending for the Anaheim you are, Mighty you're Ducks. You're supposed to be a full sort J.S. Shiger. Yeah. Getting has jiggy been with it. Phenomenal. Right. Story of sports this year. He has been. They're, my point exactly. Now, see, they, they sell the Anaheim Angels, Disney, and they want to sell the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, and they both may be world champs. Mm hmm. So there, 216 We have a booty call But we're quick. not going to take calls about Holcomb and Couch. I refuse to do it. You know, I don't like when it's not becoming of you when you start yelling at people, and that's all you do. Can you promise that you'll control yourself? Yep. <laughs> really? Yes. And if you yell at one person, you'll, right. you'll agree never to be on the show again. Absolutely. You won't call me and beg to come on. <laughs> That's never happened anyway, but uh, I well, doubt well, if I'd I know, We had the tape of last night when I mentioned we didn't have anybody lined up. Hurry, because I'm going to vomit. Tasty, pi tasty pizza. Well, you don't do tasty pizza after I say hurry, I'm going to vomit. When Patrick says go to a break, I do. A Linner's tradition since 1958. Have Maybe. they been a Linner's tradition before Linner's luggage? Yes. Yes, Linhurst luggage was Eastgate luggage for 37 years. Okay. If you do the math, you'll find out that 1958 was before that. Tasty pizza, great pizza, pasta, and salads. Uh, same location, same uh, mom and pop. Do they have uh, shoe repair at the pizza place? No, absolutely not. But they have great pie. Yes, they do. Mom and pop pie. We'll come back in a moment. Final phone calls. You're watching more sports and less Levine brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. Josh Poo. Ricky Chuck, how come if the Cavaliers hire Jeff Van Gundy, they might, uh, he might demand to have a change to the Gundy Arena? Well, I like that. Thank you very That's much. two in a row you've had that have been good. Uh, yep, we're on a, uh, we're on Gundy. a quickie roll. All right, uh, you can send uh, quickies to our email address, msnll at aol.com or P.O. Box 22715, Cleveland, Ohio. Unless 44. it has to do with Couch and Holcomb. 122. Two. Free in 2003. It's free admission, free general parking. Uh, this Saturday, the 128th running of the $1 million Preakness. The doors open early at 10 a.m. You can play the $1,000 Preakness uh, Picks Contest. Preakness from 10 to is 4. run at? Pimlico. That's correct. In Balmer. Free collectible Seabiscuit print. Every guest receives a, an exclusive collectible print of the famous 1938 Pimlico special match. That race between Seabiscuit and War Admiral. And that, of course, will be War an upcoming Emblem. move. War Admiral, oh. 1938. Prints are available from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Strictly limited. Prince to one, is going to be there. One per person while the supplies last. Do you know that, Patrick? Thistledown, Prince, Prince where, is gonna where be you there. play the game. Great track. Yes, it is. Great track. A lot of improvements. Lucky to have that uh, track. Here a lot of the... improvements. It's a it's yeah. a great place to spend. You a day. like the ponies. 216-575-0403 is the number. Chuck Booms with us. You got any upcoming stand-up uh, yeah. gigs? Where? Uh, I'm going to Peoria to play a big casino called the Paradise. Uh, hotel and casino. casino? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. The hotel's on land, the boat. The right. gambling's in the water. Okay. 
and where else, anywhere else? Uh, Are you talking about St. Louis? Yeah, and it looks like I may go to St. Louis and I may go down to San Antonio. San Antonio to do stand-up or to, to do radio work down there? Both. They like you down there? Yes. Yeah? All right. We're about set to go to phones. They're, they're telling me to get ready. So I'm getting ready. These will because, all be about Josh Booty. Well, I, hopefully, because I, I refuse to, to, to do the whole thing. Didn't they draft another quarterback? Every, every night. No, they, they signed Pat Barnes. Pat, Pat Barnes. Barnes. Yeah, he's got a chance. Why don't we do a also, Barnes they, no, booty? The kid from Oklahoma, Hybel. Or Nate Hibble. Or Hibble, rather. H-Y-B-I-L. He's a pretty good player at Oklahoma. But uh, unfortunately... Is he the one that got hurt here. before the lefty kid won the championship? Yes. He got hurt. Before, he he was the ago. stud. Yeah. And he got hurt. He was, also, he was Pat Barnes got started. hurt yeah. where he was playing. And why, he would was, guy like, why would they even sign with the Browns? You know that there's a... a, a the first, you got two solid quarterbacks. But if, what if Pat Barnes went into camp and looked like Y.A. Tittle? Then it gives you some real flexibility. What if the Browns told Barnes' agent that... They're getting rid of one guy? Battle, sure. Maybe. Chris Maybe. On one. All right, here we go. You, you think it'll be... They Don't hang your head. Calls are. Hi, you're on the Could air. Be about the Cavaliers. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, how you doing, Les? Great, how are you? Good. What's wrong about talking about uh, Couch and uh, Holcomb? Go ahead. Well, yeah, what's wrong with having two good quarterbacks? I mean, you got uh, you got uh, Joe Montana and and uh, Steve Young. What's wrong with having uh, Couch and Holcomb? Let me ask you a question. This is my friend, Chris. I yeah, can tell by his voice. Hey, hey, Chris. Chris was supposed to come up and watch a Laker game with me last night. I think he stayed in with his chick and had a roast. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, Instead of coming up too. to my place and hanging with the boomer. Uh, so let me ask you a question. What you're telling That's me not. is that in your mind, Kelly Holcomb is on a par with Steve Young. Well, I'm not saying that he compares to him, but I'm saying that he's, he's, he's just as good. He makes an excellent point. He's, he's just as good as Steve Young, a Hall of Fame quarterback to be. Yeah, to be, yeah. yeah. you got two great quarterbacks, he's saying. Yeah, two great quarterbacks. What's wrong with having two great quarterbacks? Yeah. Well, one basically was told. Ask Chris who he wishes would start. Yeah, who, would you, who do you think should start? Holcomb. Oh. Uh. All right, so, so uh, what they did with San Francisco. I'm glad you ate roast and stayed. I didn't know you liked it. After that. Steve Young had such a great, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the other league, he did so well. And, and when they brought him on, they said, when we decide to get rid of Montana, then you'll get your shot. There was never any quarterback controversy. That's right. And by the way, speaking of that, when uh, Steve Young was drafted out of BYU, played at Tampa, was horrible. And they kept saying, I thought he was so good. Right. I thought he was so good. He was good. You had to stick with him long enough, just like we need to do with Couch. Are we going out tonight, Chris? Yeah, we sure are. All right. <laughs> All right. You dating? <laughs> you, you, you were hitting on Megan. Never, it didn't work, and now you're, now you're trying for You Chris. never saw Chris in heels and spaghetti straps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuck. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Yep. What a visual. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Chris is actually a, a budding musician. Really? Does hip-hop. Played at the Rhythm Room in Cleveland Heights. The Rhythm Room? No, nope. I was supposed to go. My buddy stiffed me, so to speak. All right, so that is, so, was that a Holcomb Couch call? That was a Holcomb Couch All call. Right. I mean, why bother going to calls? You're here. They know what, what you want to talk about. They want to challenge you because you're... you're, you're I'm up for the challenge. Yeah. I'm kind of... Are you? Out. No, you know what? It's May. They don't play for couple of months every day of my life for the next six months i don't want to talk about holcomb and couch that's all it's going to be on the other hand well, i'm sort of tired of talking about a beret and anderson would you rather yeah would you rather talk about matt lawton no i don't need to talk about him milton bradley's now batting fourth that tells you all you need to know about this team and they refuse to bring up if, chris if i am uh well, I wouldn't. If you got Jody Garrett right now, give him a shot. I like Jody. Uh, if I'm Ellis Burks, I go right up to Mark Shapiro's office and say, by the weekend, I, you got to yeah. get rid of me. I don't right. care where you send and me. And Omar said he'd sneak in my luggage. Yeah. I mean, no, Omar's going to stick. But uh, um, I'm uncomfortable I'm with Burks, Omar staying. I really am. Why? Okay, it's just he's, he's one of the great, if not the greatest, fielding shortstop ever. And I right. just, he just doesn't deserve to go out like this. He's oh, like, it's his choice. He's like the lead cello it, on the was, band at the Titanic. You know, when choice. you booked the gig, it sounded yeah. good. But, you know, well, midway into the trip, you really don't want to play yeah. Danny Boy again. Ellis, Ellis Burks just has to go and say, i, I got to get out of here by yeah. this weekend. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you why uh, Omar is staying, because uh, he can go to Corky and Lenny's. 
No, I thought it was all Omar weekend coming up. Too. Well, it is. He's got to stay through this weekend. Corky and Lenny's Wahoo located Duck. in uh, Woodmere. That's at the Village Square Shopping Center, one of the great landmark restaurants in this town, that's for sure. Yep. Great takeout. And, of course, uh, if one of the restaurants, think about it. I don't think there's any restaurants in town that are as busy as they are from 6.30 right. in the morning to 11 at night. I brought up Constantly. the corned beef yesterday, yeah. which I love. Right. Not only that, you've never gone there and got a sandwich. It wasn't on fresh rye, right. and the pickles are yeah. great. It's the best. Corky and Lenny's, terrific place, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or uh, after uh, an evening outing. We'll come back in a moment. You're watching more sports and less Levine brought to you by... More couch and less Holcomb. McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. Talked about Sokolowski's University in, in every day for about nine years now. I have not much more to say other than it's the best place in town to go for lunch. If you're in the downtown area, it's a five-minute ride, plenty of free parking, and well worth the drive. Sokolowski's University and open Monday through Friday, 11 to 3. Also very busy. Dinner on uh, Friday and Saturdays. Are you joining me on Tuesday, Tuesday about 1.15? Yeah. Just be there. Can I bring Chris? Bring anybody you want. All right. He won't wear the heels. Hi, you're on the air. Brandon, go ahead. How are you doing, last Hey, How Brandon. Hey, I got a couple questions for you. Why is everybody keen on bringing up the couch and Holcomb? Why don't we talk about our defense, or mainly our linebackers, and our offensive line? Excellent What question. linebackers? I know what linebackers. We don't have any linebackers. That's why I'm talking about who cares about Holcomb. See, Brandon, you're, I'm, I'm, you're the smartest caller we've had in a while because this whole thing is not about the quarterback situation. It, this whole thing, Butch Davis let you know what he thought the problem was. He got rid of his defensive coordinator. He got rid of two other defensive coaches. He got rid of some guys in the defensive backfield and got rid of his linebackers. That told you where he was coming from and where he saw the problem. Yeah, You're absolutely uh, right. And he addressed it immediately by drafting a center. Right. <laughs> That's right. Well, he also knew the offensive line was a right. problem. The, uh, uh, the two guys that are never talked about, Brandon, are uh, well, actually three, if you count Gerard Warren as two, is uh, Gerard Warren and uh, Courtney Brown. You know, one of the biggest complaints about Couch is he's number one overall. He's number one overall. When you think of the good things that Tim Couch has done for a crummy team and put him in the playoffs, I can't name one thing the two of those stiffs have done good period brandon it's unbelievable to me that people look at the browns problems and, and zero in on the quarterback situation i'm not going to say that's the least of their problems but you know what that's close you, you get it got to be in a double digits is the amount of problem it's not even in the top 10 is right. that problem. exactly exactly it's just let them figure it out i mean college is not a bad quarterback he needs time to Progress. I'll, tell you, I'll, weapons. Tell, I'll tell you another another problem that's never talked about and not addressed, and you and I have talked about on the phone privately, is kicker. You cannot yeah. have Phil Dawson kick off to the 15-yard line and have him run it back to the 40, and he also, especially when your defense well, isn't good. Well, when he good. did that, they'd say, well, at least he was accurate in field goals, and last year he was not, not accurate. Right. That's right. I, and just he can't. Our, I just think our defense is terrible well, now that we don't have Well, guys, so did Butch Davis, and that's why he did what he did. Yeah, and All this right. is... Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks. you, Brandon. Golden Coins, uh, not just a sports bar, great restaurant. Terrific burgers, ribs, and chicken, and steaks as good as anywhere in town, at, except they're half the price that you'll find at the, the major national chains that you find around town. Golden Coins, Mayfield and Warrensville Center, with plenty of free parking in the back. Chuck and I return one more time. You're watching more sports and less Levine. Brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. One line just opened up, 216-575-0403. Tomorrow night, uh, Hal Lebovitz will be with us. In the final segment, Dave Geyer of Golf Inside and Out. You can hear us, uh, watch us rather, Monday through Friday from Can't 6 until golf 7. Can't golf inside. With, uh... Pardon me? You can't golf inside. You have to golf outside. Well, I know that. Well, you can golf inside. Oh. No, see, inside and out refers to the ins and outs oh. of how to play the game. You can see us Monday through Friday, 6 until 7, with replays at 11. Except on Friday, the replay is at uh, 8 o'clock uh, if we're doing a... Uh, Lake County Captains games. Are we doing one this Friday? No. No. You guys do captains? Yeah. Great. They do. Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, that's on, on Adelphia Digital 15. Uh, Chuck, you were telling about, uh, me about Horvath's Pub, one of their teams undefeated? Undefeated softball team. Big article in the Euclid Sun paper. The Horvath's right? team uh, undefeated and rolling. Tell you what, Don, not only, Don Horvath not only 
sponsors the team. I mean, he cares about him. He's out there yeah, watching he's in, every game. Yeah, yeah, he really does. Good guy. He's Horvath's, been one of your sponsors for a long, long time. time. Long time. Horvath's Pub, East 222nd Street, just to the north of I-90. Sugar Freedom Store, that's located in the uh, Greens of Lyndhurst. If you are a diabetic, if you're on the Atkins diet and you can't have sugar, you can't have carbs, go to the Greens of Lyndhurst right in the middle there, and uh, you'll find out great selections on, on food, real food now. Uh, sometimes if you're on those diets, uh, the low car no carbs or, or no sugar, you figure it's uh, tasteless. That's not the case. A whole variety of great foods at uh, the Greens of Lyndhurst at the Sugar Freedom Store. Chuck Booms with us, 216-575-0403. Hal of it's tomorrow. Uh, we'll have uh, the Plain Dealer Roundtable on, uh, on Monday night. Did you ask Grossi last Monday about his article? I did. He, he, I, I said I thought it was slanted a little bit toward Holcomb because I know his thought of it. Might not have been fair. He, he claimed he, he was just getting opinions from all over the league. He claimed he didn't come out and say who it should be. Well, there's, you know? there's plenty of people who think Couch, including Parcells. Yeah. Well, and John, John Madden, Madden too. John Madden. John Madden. It's a couple of pretty. I don't know about Parcells because Parcells and Butch Davis have talked a lot. Um, well, Parcells wanted the couch trade to go through. Remember, he said, I don't think anyone in Cleveland is that dumb to make the deal. He said, if you want to trade couch down there, we'll go get him at the airport. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I think he would have been delighted. Do you think he'll couch. be successful down there, Parcells? Not for a while. Uh, well, you know, he's a great coach, but yeah. that they really stink. Do you th they do. Do you think that they'll be at the Super Bowl in but three you know years? What? Like, yeah. Which is what happens wherever he goes. Yeah, I mean, he'll turn it around. You know what, though? This is interesting that you bring it up because when Bobby Knight went to Texas Tech, that really was about 12 kids that just stink. And the first year they were good. Right. Because Second Bobby year they Knight found a way to bring out yeah. the best in, in very mediocre players. Second year they weren't very good, though. Well, they didn't make the tournament. They just made the they should, Well, they should have made the tournament. They should have well, made the Miles tournament. Well, Miles Brand, that the former the, president yeah. of, of uh, Indiana, yeah, happened Brown's to the be NCAA. the head of the NCAA. Right. That's why they left. So they would have had to have. Tech, tech you know, was, the, was the biggest uh, at-large snub there was because going... By the way, uh, one of your Final Four teams, Texas, uh, in the Big 12 tournament, Bobby Knight, uh, they beat him by beat him. 20. Yeah. I mean, really beat him bad. So. Beat him. What you're going to find out, getting back to basketball, what you're going to find out is Mike Davis is the luckiest guy in the world, the, the coach at Indiana. Yeah. Right place, right time, because the guy can't coach. No, and he might not be there much longer. Yeah, well, he signed a, signed a long-term deal, but you're going to find out he's just lucky guy, right place, right time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not happy with him. At uh, Well, you know, he's following a legend, and, and that... You know, a lot of the night detractors came out at Indiana uh, after. But you know something? He had a, while it was there, there were, you had some detractors, but they were very, a very small minority. Not among the uh, people in the community of right. uh, Bloomington no, or the state him. of Indiana. He's Love a legend. He was, he was a god there. Yeah. He was Still is. There. Still is. And, and they just didn't like when, when the, not the truth, but some of the proof of some of the way he treated people when that came out, uh, they finally came around to it. Even though they'd known it, it had been happening for a long time. Well, the guy is what he is, you know, and the bottom line is, you know, winning, yeah, but winning wasn't everything for me as far as a college coach goes. What it was was the fact that the kids all turned out to be uh, good citizens. and uh, Right, because they uh, didn't have their names on the back of their uniforms. Right, and now, uh, they a graduated. Week, a week from tomorrow, mm -hmm. they'll uh, pick the names out of the hat as to the uh, But not the on drafting. camera. Not on camera. I'm still sticking with my prediction. Which is? Cleveland first. You still think they'll get first? Um, Knicks second, Denver third. Well, I'll tell you what. The league will have a big problem if the Knicks or the Bulls or somebody oh. like that gets it. They really will have a big problem. I think people kind of laughed at it in the Patrick Ewing thing, and it was okay. Because they knew. And then the other one was the uh, when Jordan announced he was coming back. Right. And I said to you, gee, wouldn't it be a surprise if the Wizards got the number one pick right. to thank Mike for coming back? Yeah, except and Kwame Brown turned out to be terrible. It was a terrible pick, but yeah. they still, I'm sure Jordan, he was part of the franchise yeah. and said, I want the number one pick. Right. But I, I don't think they can phony it up. I think time. Gund going there tells you that it's gonna be, they're going to give it to Cleveland. Why? Well, I just don't think he'd go if it wasn't. Well, he thinks he's, he's, got the, he's tied with Denver for having the best chance. Why, yeah. why is that yeah, different? I, just, I, I really think the Cavs are going to get it. All right. I think this Sunday everybody needs to go to church and to pray for it? say a little extra one, go to synagogue, go to, yeah. go to what, a, you think what, a, what do Islam people do? To mosques? Mosques. Mm -hmm. All right, we're done. And I, it, it was painless. relatively painless. Well, you got we my buddy on. Yeah, he, he was harmless. I mean, he didn't, you know, 
He didn't cause Supposed problems. to come up and watch a Laker game. Stay right, good luck on your house. What's the phone number if somebody yeah. wants to take yeah. this off you your hands? you got to buy my a house. Steel. It's a great what house. number? What number? 731-9500. Ask for Lenny Vaccaro. He'll give you a tour of the house. All right, that'll do it. We'll see you tomorrow night with Hal Lebovitz. Of all oh, I'm show. not coming back tomorrow? No. <laughs> of all the shows I've ever done, this was the most I'm recent. calling tomorrow to talk about Holcomb and Cobb.